The topic is being sociable. How sociable are you? Can you even spell sociable? We had a hard time making sure we had the right spelling up here today. But harder than spelling it is sometimes doing it. It seems that you know, some of us are more sociable than others. Uh, some of us would rather just kind of stay home and be by ourselves, and it seems to come more naturally. But the point is, when you look at what God has to say about being sociable or being hospitable is another word the Bible uses, we're encouraged to step out and go outside of ourselves and really be a sociable person. Even if it doesn't come naturally to us, we are encouraged to do that very thing. There's a passage that, that makes it, uh, I, I think, very meaningful when, when you consider it. It's over in Hebrews chapter 13. And in this passage, it's, it's one of those passages that remind you that some amazing things could happen when we put sociability into our lives. In verse uh, 2, here's what it says about being sociable. Uh, Don't forget to entertain strangers or be sociable. Encourage people to, to come on over to your house. Why? Well, one of the reasons given here is, f he says, for by doing so, some have unwittingly entertained angels. Can you imagine that? You invite someone new, maybe you met at church or someone else over to your place, and they might actually be an angel. How does that work? I'm not exactly sure how that works. But God's making a point here for all of us that we have to reach out to others. Now imagine, in fact, it might make an interesting study. Imagine if some individuals in the Bible hadn't done that very thing. Think about maybe Abraham for an example. What if he hadn't entertained strangers? Wow, history could be totally different, totally different. So God encourages that in us. Uh, sometimes I, I like to tease that my wife is our family's social coordinator. Well, maybe you need a social coordinator. You know, someone that will help you to step out and reach out to others. Because when we do that, we build bonds. We strengthen each other. We strengthen the church when we do that very thing. In fact, Peter wrote about that as well. Uh, when we see what he said in 1 Peter chapter 4, and it's in, uh, where, what verse is that in? It's in verse 9, 1 Peter 4, 9. And here's what Peter had to say about that. He said, be hospitable. A little bit different word than sociable, but it's the same meaning. Be hospitable to one another. And then he says, without grumbling. You know, he, he knows our nature. Sometimes it doesn't seem like the most convenient thing to do. Well, he says, do it anyway. Sometimes it might not be my my." My personality might not fit with what I really enjoy. Well, he says, do it anyway. Do it anyway, because you will find a blessing. And who knows if that blessing might be just the fact that you entertain a stranger. So let's strive to be that much more sociable in our lives, and we'll be able to fulfill what, what God has for my, in mind for us, some special blessings. Uh, that's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.